And all afternoon long, people have been coming by the site of the crash, still in shock, not only over what happened, but the possibility of why it might have happened. A memorial of candles and flowers takes shape at the base of a large tree along Temescal Canyon. This is where three teenagers were killed when their car crashed off the side of the road. It just sends a chill down your, your spine and it just doesn't feel good when it happens to three, not one, but three. The CHP says 42-year-old Anurag Chandra intentionally rammed the teenager's car. The mother of one of the victims is reported to have said the boys were playing a game of ding-dong ditch in the suspect's neighborhood and may have knocked on his door by mistake. The CHP says it's one of the things they're looking into. I don't know, he must have been really angry and I don't know. Sad. The three teens who were killed went to three different high schools around here, Santiago High and Centennial High in Corona and Woodcrest Christian School in Riverside. The superintendent there said some school activities have been canceled as students deal with the tragic loss of their friends. There was similar emotion at a prayer vigil last night in Corona where many church members are doing what they can to help the families of the victims. Sat around at her feet and held her arm and we sing songs to God just crying out to him for comfort. There are lives that didn't have a chance to succeed doing something, being great, being the next president being the next inventor never had a chance because of somebody's blind rage and some people who have come by the site of the crash here say not only did the suspect but also some of the victims live in the same neighborhood not far from here only about a quarter mile away as for that suspect he's also facing misdemeanor charges for spousal battery from a case that allegedly happened about four months ago if he is indeed charged with murder for what happened here he could be arraigned on thursday Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.